I'm sorry, I can't stop coughing. I'll suffer through it till after I call the trade. <coughs> Still sick. 51 is the high. Let's watch it. Okay, stop's going to be 85. Wow, it's going to be a big stop. Stop's going to be 71.85, and I don't have the entry yet. Ah, oh, crap, it went. It went, and I didn't even see it. My candle broke late. I'm not in it. I'm not in it. If you could take it here, you, if you want to put the stop at 71.85. It's a dollar. I missed it because I'm choking. Um, if you want to be in it, put the stop at 71.85. I'm going to wait and see if I can get a better entry in here. And I missed, the, I missed that entry in there. It was a wide stop. If you're in it, stop 71.85. I'm going to see if I can get a better entry. I looked away for a second and it broke. <sighs> 71.85 is the stop if you're in it. Let's see how this acts the next bar. I might have to take it. Okay, we're going to get another chance to do it if you didn't get it. <clears throat> Either way, it's going to be a big stop. Okay, let's do let's do 80 by 85. 80 by 85 is valid. 80 by 85 is valid short UAL. And I'm not in it yet. And don't jump the gun in this. Okay, wait. The numbers might be different. Is anyone in it or not? I'm not in it yet. Is anyone in it or not? Because the numbers might be completely different here because of the spread. Wow, it held 85. If you're still in it, put it put the stop at 90. If you're still in it, move the stop at 7190. If you're in it, move the stop at 7190. If you're not in it, wait. Okay, we're gonna get it. If you're in it. Put the stop, move it up again. But you would have gotten dinged out if you had it at 85 at 90. Here, we're going to get this trade. Stop's going to be wide. 72.25. This is going to be crazy wide. Let's do 80 by 25. 80 by 25 UAL. And it is a monster stop. And I don't think anyone did that in there. Oh, Fred did it. Are you in it or not, Fred? 72.25 will be the stop for this, and it's just a big stop. Huge target, though. All right, Fred did it. He's just in it. You must, I would put the stop at 72.25 if you never put a stop in, Fred. Here, let's do 99 by 25. Fred's the only one in it, and he didn't put a stop, <clears throat> which ended up working out for him here. But I would really get the stop at 72.25 now. Let's do 99 by 25. This is a real call if it hits. Here, take it if you want it. Take it if you want it, or just you can wait till it breaks. Get the stop in 72.25. That it has to hold that. 72.25. Well, I'm in it. Did it break? I was afraid I was gonna miss it like the last time. No, it didn't. If you didn't do it, wait till it breaks 71, but I'm already in. I don't like anything else today anyways. Wow, that was a big stop. Has a big target though. If you're not in it, wait till it breaks 99. If it has another setup, I'll call it. I took it. I thought it was gonna go right there. Crap, I hope I don't regret it. I think it breaks though. So. Here, 99 by 25 UAL. If you're not in it, it's gonna break. Tough going here for us. It's had it, having a hard time. Wide spread. 99 by 20 here, da, 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 da. $70 is the first target, and we can't ignore it. So I know, you know, stop was big and all that crap, but what are you going to do? 
market trying to figure itself out. And I called the market yesterday as a long, which held and popped. I don't know where we really hold here today. And this rallied. And this went a little bit here. And this. Okay, this has to break and follow through. So low in here was 7060. So I guess Fred did it. I'm assuming, Fred, you never put the stop. Because 85 didn't hold originally, and that I ended up being lucky than not having have done it. It just hit so fast, and I was choking. But <clears throat> if, you, if you take trades, you really need to put a stop in. You got lucky there, though, Fred. We're going to see if we can get this down to 70, which I feel could even break. But again, market bullish. Don't know what time it holds here. Time of the day, 936. GE is just a piece of crap. I mean, this could go to 69. This could even break 69. This is a long way down if it really wants to fall today. The question is, does it? Does it really want to fall or not? <clears throat> and exactly what time does it want to fall? So it came down in here, retested this area right in here, and that's where it bounced this morning in the first two minutes of the day. If it breaks this area, which I think it does, obviously, or wouldn't be in the trade short, it can collapse all the way down to here. That would be a really nice move. Let's just see. You got to be a little bit patient with this one here today. Actually, it doesn't look like any of the other shorts worked. PBYI, PBYI had a little bit of a move. It's really trying to go. I mean, if you want to scout PBYI, you can short it, put the stop at 65.90. 70 cents could keep going. This didn't rate well, but it absolutely is lower now. Clear as day. You could scalp the PBYI if you want to. Late call in there. It's already broke. First stop was better. Didn't watch it. Watch this. Um, I don't really, there weren't really any longs I was crazy about. So it's that area there, that are area around 750, 760, that 745 ish. That 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 that's the trouble spot, which pretty much is the low where we were at 931. So that's that's a trouble area. You will have traders buying this in here into the previous support, but that's not what we go with. We make decisions on institutional money. We're short the stock, just like Netflix yesterday. So which was a long. So, you know, we have to be a little patient. Otherwise, this would just be collapsing. But it looks like it's going to go, and this quick short really was this. Might have a decent, might have a decent setup, but it kind of just looks like it wants to break down. Not a bad entry in there, though. Okay, UAL, we're in it. We're looking for the flush. $70 is the first target. No piggies today with the market bullish, but very well could get to 69 68-something. Stock can move. Can really move actually so you know 68 is really a real target here today not a dream dream would be like 66 can't lower the stop any questions we're in this it's all good
See what it did there? <clears throat> Just went up, retested. Here we go, here we go. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Here, nice, getting into a groove with shorts. Once again, here we go, nice call. Here, I hope everyone's in it. There was only one bad thing about this. The stop was big, but the target's really huge if you stay with the train, so the risk to reward is there. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Simply because I like quick trades, market, For short, we've done in days. Um, here we go. Under the low. Under the low. Get a lot of nice flush that it pushed down. 70, 60 is the previous low in there. This could have a nice big fat red bar. Here we go. UAL. Here we go. Well, it didn't break it yet. Come on. Here it's going to. Any second. Here. Yay. Hope everybody got it. It's going to go to 70. So just let it drop into 70. And right there, we're going to watch and see if it bounces or not. Nice trade. Do, do, do. 70.35. Polly Bear got out of half. That's okay. Perfectly fine. This is this is a goner now though. <clears throat> it's done. It's on its way. So no one's gonna if you if people do go long here into the support, they won't they will they're stopped out or they're gonna be stopped at any second they're, and they're not gonna go back into it. So this is on its way down now. It's it's gone. So we'll give it a little bit more time here. Wow. And Amazon you gotta give time today if you're in it. And Netflix you gotta give time. That's why I called that out so far in the future for everybody that's in it. <clears throat> and another trading room, we got some emails short that yesterday, which I told you, what a crazy thing to do. You got out of Amazon Galahad, what was your, how much profit did you make? What was the reason you got out of it? Just to book money or why? UAL, I'm in it. If you wanted to get out of some in there like Koala Bear did, again, what is your money management? Hold the whole thing down to the first number. Get out of half. Get out of a third. Get out of the whole thing into the first move. Galahad made $1,200 on Amazon. Great job. Congratulations. How much you up in Baba? Since we're sitting here waiting. You had one contract of that. You made twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a power. That's a power. There's a power of the gap right there. You don't need a lot. Okay, here we go. UAL. Here we go. 35 here. We just broke it. Here. Everybody watch. Watch, 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 watch. Yay, 943 into 945. Let's see where we go. Trying to get to 70. 7025 was another number you could have watched, but I think it's going to break it. Let's see. Any second. Here. Here. God, I just want to see if it breaks 70. The question is time, market. Do, do, do. Here. Wow, nice call. Again, only one wrong thing with this. It was a wide, wide stop. That was the only situation. 70, 20, 70, 17. I'm trying to give us a little more time, but you really could have taken it all there. You could have taken it all. I'm going to try to give it one more push. I do not want this to completely rally against me, though, here in the morning. One green bar isn't going to matter that much. Let's just see if this can hold and continue in that one moment.
Here, here we go. Uh, this is a nice trade. Oh. 17, 19, 20. This looks like it wants to go through this and continue, but it has not yet. 17 at 19. And GE is a goner. This completely flipped. And this worked and then you had to get out. Hmm. All right, this is it for me. One more push here. Here it comes. Here it comes into the first target, UAL. It's definitely taking its good old time. 13. <sighs> My hand is on the button, though, people. This is so hard because it really, if it gets to 70, I think it goes right through it. I think it just slams right through it. Here, here, here. See if it slams through it or you could take it at 70. Really nice claw. Hard chart to read it into. Really strong chart. We'll look at it in a minute once we're out. Here, watch it at 70. I think it slams right through that baby, which was worth holding it because it really wasn't worth holding it for 10 cents. Come on, you can do it. There, there it goes. Yes, that's what I want to see. Here, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, do whatever you want. You can stay in it if you want. I think it goes to 69. I thought it would just go really hard through it. It did, it did, it did, did break it. It's going to keep going. I just forget it. It's done. Nice morning. Um, okay, what do we have to do next? If you, Listen, if you want to put this over, then fine. But honestly, I think it's going to bounce somewhere. I thought it would just, I thought it would have like a 40 cent bar there. It didn't do it. It broke it. It could still do it. I mean, it's going to do it today. But, you know, I don't know the time. Here, it's going to try. Green Mavericks out. Pyramid 375. Good job. If you're still in it, bar by bar it. Here, it's going to try to break 70 again. I wanted a nice flush through it. I got a little bit of a push, but not what I wanted to see. I thought it would just go right down maybe to 75 or something like that. Is anyone still in it? Looks great. Here it goes. UAL. UAL to 69. Boom or bust. If you want it. Could be a big trade. I mean, it, there was a nice trade right there. It was a really good entry. Um, Steve's chicken got out made 786.75. That's not chicken. That's real money. Gypsy's still in it. Galahad's up $54. In Baba, a quick look. Um, where did this go? Thirteen eighty-eight. Market slightly red. 
Dad doesn't look the same. This is a piece of crap. And this was hard to do. Worked, but you had to get right out. Here it goes, UAL. So uh, some people are still in this. Here you go. Under 90, do, 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 do. 69 is a real number for this today. I even think 68, 50, 68, 60, 68. But again, will it happen in the morning before 10? Nobody knows. So nine minutes before 10 o'clock, you got to watch everything. Fred's still in it. I wouldn't be a pig though, Fred. It's your first week here. You need to be green every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you knew and just did the class, that's all you should care about. Um, koala bear is flat. All right, good job, everyone. A nice call by me. So uh, just really quickly, and then we'll go over Galahad's question and stuff. Friday morning, I'm on TV very early. And I said this before some of you signed in. Gyro cannot run the room. He's away and has internet connectivity problems. I will be here if you want me to be, but I know that I'm not going to be at my best. And I honestly don't know how I'm going to feel at all because I've never run the room when I've been on at 5 a.m. Because I'm going to be up at 12.30 a.m. Thursday night. So I, I, I'm willing to run the room. I will be physically in my apartment, but I usually go back to sleep and then he runs the room. Do you want me to be here or not? Because if I call a trade, I'm just telling you, I'm not going to be in the same Melissa. I, I, it, I mean, I might call something that works. I might not. I definitely, if I do run the room and there isn't anything good, I will shut it down. And we and I won't stay and talk or lecture. But I'm willing to be here. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not going to be myself. I'm just going to tell you I won't. I'll be, on, I'll be up for nine hours and in the middle of the night. And that's the reason why he's been running the room when I'm on that early. But this is just one of these weeks where he can't do it. Nice call, me, Melissa. Yes, yes. Fred made $1,000. Good job. There you go. Help to pay for the class. Um, Koala Bear wants me to run the room. Green Maverick says, very nice call. Steve says, you're awesome. Thank you. So just vote. I mean, I'm telling you that I'll be here. I'll, I'll come home and go to bed. How, usually get back, you know, before six. And I'll sleep for two hours and then get up. But I'm just telling you, I'm not going to be my normal self. I don't know what I'm going to be like. But the day after, whenever I'm on, I usually try to go to sleep. And it's very hard. And then I do, but then it's not a good sleep. And then I get up usually around lunch. And then the day is hard, the day after that schedule. I usually by three or four, I just, you kind of feel like when you don't get enough sleep, like you're drunk, but you're not drunk. Um, and, and because then I have to force myself to stay up and go to bed normal time. Otherwise, you're off for the next day. So it's, a, it's, a, it's good that it's the weekend the Saturday and Sunday because you know either way if it wasn't if it wasn't Friday I would just close the room if I had to do the following day I would tell you right now so it could be normal but because it's Friday I'm saying I'm willing to be here but I'm just I'm just telling you I don't know how my brain's going to be functioning because it will be on no sleep because I have gotten I try I get in bed at seven and I try to go to bed by eight between eight seven and eight but it's hard it's hard to go to sleep at seven o'clock so Gosh, I just thought of that now because it's dark, it's winter. What's that going to be like when I'm on in the summer? Because it's 7 o'clock, it's still light out. Ugh. Way to go, Fred, Colado Bear says. Um, so no one's really voting except for Koala Bear. And a couple people said what they thought before. What does what everybody want me to do? Write it in the room while I look up tonight's earnings. Creed didn't do anything right. I'll look at it in a minute, but that was a bust. So good to do a good short today. Love it. Um, and a quick one too. Uh, Ford is tonight. Discover. What is today? Wednesday? Nothing I'm crazy about tonight, but there's a lot of big names. But nothing where I'm like, oh, that would be really good. LVS, we can look at that. LVS and Ford are tonight. Chief says open the room. Gypsy says go to sleep, get rested. CJ says run the room. Para says I like your support on Friday, but I understand if you're not up to it. Good problems to have with being on TV. Yes, it's true. Dubot says, call the room. You never know what you'll see. 
God says, open the room. We are warned if anyone wants to trade. There's nothing to close the room. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. If I, Fine, I'll open the room. But I'm telling you I'm not myself. So I'm just letting you know. So if I call something and, you know, I'm just telling you that that sixth sense, that intuition, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to be on that on Friday because of the fact that I will all be on no sleep. And less than five hours of sleep is really hard to function for, I think, any person. Um, getting up in the middle of the night is very challenging, too. All right, so let's look at LVS chart. So I'll be here Friday, but no promises and no lectures if there's no trades. And just so you know, I won't be at, you know, tip top shape. LG appliances? No, I don't know the symbol for that. LVS is out tonight. Rest my third eye. My third eye rests when I sleep every night, Rumi. My third eye sees the market. And stocks too. So I don't think anyone else is in this, but if for some reason you are, I'm going to tell you where to lower the stop if you want to stay in this the rest of the day. If you want to stay in the stock the rest of the day, put it at 71.60. That should keep you in this all day. It's above where you entered it, but it should keep you in the stock all day. 71.60. It's continuing. 69 is a real number. Um, and this is really trying to go here again into 10. Uh, Qualier, I don't know why you want to look up that appliances, but just Google it. It should, it should come up if you want to Google it. I'm not sure what you wanted to ask about it. Um, let's talk about Galahad's question here. I'll go up and read what he had, and then I think that's it for today. Uh... <laughs> oh, Galahad said about buying retracements because the retracement in BABA worked. I, maybe I haven't communicated myself correctly, but I, I'm going to this second, so listen up. I'm not saying that sometimes buying support or shorting resistance or buying retracements or shorting retracements does not work. I never once said that does not work. Never in my life did I say that does not work. I said that's not what I do. And I also said that's not what I te taught you to do. And why? Because momentum comes in when a stock's gapping. Momentum doesn't come in in a retracement, just so you know. If it did, it would be something reliable that you could consistently use for profit. You've been watching these things, Galahad, and it, when you say stuff, it makes me nervous. The market's been extremely bullish. And as a result, every baby pullback in the market has been bought and some strong stocks too. So you're looking at a period of time here and you're saying every pullback is working, Melissa. It's not going to continue like that. And it has only been because of the move the market's making. So if you're going to go long, every strong stock in a pullback for the rest of your life, that will not work. The system that I taught you to buy bullish gap ups, the rate 20 points or more, or short bearish gap downs, the rate 20 points or more, is a system that consistently works in any market. Proof, UAL today, we shorted it. Market made a new high. Market gapped up. It was a nice trade. And we, we shorted a stop. But I'm telling you that you can't look at one period of time where the market's power trending and saying you can always buy support as a consistent way to trade. I never said that doesn't ever work. That's why people do it, because sometimes it does work. And more importantly, the reason people do it is because it's easy to see where support is. It is also something people can wrap their head around that are regular people, traders, they can wrap their head, their, their head around it, they can wrap their head around the concept, they can see support very easily, usually made by moving lines or other indicators as well, like Fibonacci's, whatever, whatever other things you're using. People can wrap their head around it very easily. Conceptually, to them it makes sense to buy low and, and, and sell high, but I'm telling you, the consistency is not there doing that, or it would be extremely easy to trade. It would be extremely easy to trade if that was the case. If you could go long support in every strong stock that existed and short retracement rallies and everything to the downside, it would be so easy to trade and the profit would not be there to make the same money from the market for the people that are successful. So I'm telling you, it's a misnomer, a misconception, I should say, 
that that is something that consistently works. You're looking at a period of time, an extremely bullish market, and you're saying they all work. So you bought through this. I'm, I'm a little shocked this made this retracement so soon, but because of the market, I guess not really. Stock is strong, but the stock really should not have fallen like that. That was a big fall. The fact it did it quickly, it showed signs of strength in the stock and it gapped up today and it's running. But conceptually, for some reason, it's hard for people to see to buy this, but not me. Today, this actually is a long. Today, you would get in BABA as a new trade. In fact, maybe I'll call it as an option. I'll have to look at it. But the point is, though, that people can't understand this, and most people don't, unless you do my class. This is something people understand, but does not work consistently. This does. And it does whether the market's strong or not. So I never said retracements don't work. I said I don't do them. I didn't teach you to do them, and I just told you why. The market's power trending. Whether it continues all of 2018 or for the next five years, I don't know. Who knows? It could. But I'm telling you, if you want to be in the game for a long, long time, don't do that. Do what I'm doing. Let me look at the BABA option. You are acting like a normal trader by doing the retracements now instead of the gap plays, uh, Galahad. I don't have a problem with you staying through calls I make, which you did on that, but then you need to do that with every one. And I don't think you did that with Win. I think you killed Win, and Win went on to be a huge, massive win. You know, good trade. Nice trade. Thank you, Turtle. Uh, let me go look at the... Does anyone have any questions? Actually, I'll just look at it later. Does anyone have any questions on anything we did today? Anything we did at all today? Oh, crap. Sorry, that's uh, some stupid video. Here, let me turn off the sound. I hate when these ads just come up. You go on one thing in the internet now, you get an advertisement. Eh. Um... You didn't do win? Well, it, the win worked. I'm not sure if you would have killed it or not then if you didn't do it, but that was a good one. Wow, it went to 200. It went another day too. Um, okay, what does everybody want to go over? Anything? So SPY is going to go to 300 this year. Really wasn't sure in January, January 1st, December 29th, whenever I was on TV talking about the market. In my mind, I was like, what's well, a possibility? It's clear now. SPY is going to get there. Some awesome numbers here. I don't see how we don't get there. And it's not that we can't pull back before we get there, but I got to be honest with you, I mean, we might not. So a power trend market, still no big green fat red, uh, green days in here. Um, and, you know, Look at this. That isn't even that big. It looks big compared to the other bars, but not really. It's only two bucks and change. So, I mean, market's just continuing higher. But it is not parabolic. That was a really good discussion we had the other day. Does anybody have any questions? Good day. If you don't, I'm going to let everybody go. I will be here Friday morning then, but I'm just going to be on very little sleep, and I'm just letting you know I'm not going to be 100%. We'll see what we get. Tomorrow's normal, and then um, Gerard's back next week, but I don't have my schedule yet, so we'll see what happens. So a lot going on right now. Um, all of it's good stuff, like Koala Bear said, and no complaints. Thank you for the great trade. Thank you, Melissa. Good job. Yeah, honed it down today. Honed it, honed it down. Because not all the gap downs worked. And I was really very, I mean, I needed the conviction to short today with the market at new highs. We got it. All right, have a good day, everyone. I will see you tomorrow morning. Very good. You're welcome.